Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Here, we'll be working with the Spectra Layers Unmixed Soundtrack Module, new in version 12. This tutorial goes beyond the basics a bit, so watch the video shown here if you still need to learn how to open Spectra Layers as an ARE extension in Cubase or Nuendo. In this case, we'll be working with video in Nuendo. And here's the use case. It's a classic sci-fi movie with a mono audio track, which I've already opened in Spectra Layers. My compliments, Captain. You're the first man to set foot on this planet. We're outcasts on a lost planet in space, but at last we have something firm under our feet. In the Spectra Layers Layers panel, I'm selecting the Unmixed Soundtrack module and performing the process in best mode, which takes a few minutes but yields the best result. Now here we have three new layers, Dialogue, Music, and Effects. Here's the Dialogue layer soloed. My compliments, Captain. You're the first man to set foot on this planet. We're outcasts on a lost planet in space, but at last we have something firm under our feet. The music layer. And now here is the main part of the effects layer, which comprises mostly footfalls and mechanical sounds. Clicking the Open and Separate Window button takes Spectra Layers into full screen mode, which looks and functions almost like the standalone application. And now we can start editing. It's important to note that here in this part of the process, things we do on one layer serve to the benefit of other layers on the timeline. Here I have the music layer soloed, I've refined my view, and I've zoomed in on some material that belongs in the effects layer. Now I'm zoomed in even more, and over here in the tools panel, I'm selecting the transfer tool, and now I'm choosing the effects layer as the target for this operation. Here, I'm taking a couple of minutes with the transfer tool and drawing over the sound that I want to place into the effects layer. Nothing is erased, there's no degradation, and two layers are being improved at the same time. Now here I've placed 13 markers on events in the music layer that I'd like to transfer over to the effects layer. And now I'm selecting over these markers using the transient selection tool, which has been improved for precision and accuracy in Spectra Layers 12. In the Spectra Layers Edit menu, I'm choosing Cut Special, Cut To, and then in the dialog, I'm steering the selection over to the Effects layer. And here's the result on both layers. We can do more. Listen to the sound that follows the first transient. Here I'm using the selection brush to select the sound. And then I'm following the same cut routine, which is now made easier because the operation can recall the last target layer. Here I'm at the start on the music layer, and I'm zoomed into the 2K range where there's some shrillness that I find annoying. I'll use the Frequency Selection tool to make this selection. Now, you might be wondering why I'm not using the Harmonic Selection tool here. 
It's because these frequencies are not part of any ordered series, and maybe that's why they sound so shrill to me. In any case, there's a lot of inharmonic tension here. The dialogue defaults to New Layer, which is what we want. Click OK, and now I have another new layer. The selection has been removed from the music layer. <laughs> Now listen to the pitch modulated synth sound here in the music layer. Here I'm zoomed in with a good display setting. I'm tracing the sound using the frequency selection tool. This tool is very much improved in the new edition. Sometimes new features that are perceived as being minor improvements are actually a lot more important than they seem at a glance. This tool's increased precision and tracking ability really needs to be called out here. Here I'm saving the selection in case I need to recall it later. And now I'm cutting the sound to a new layer. This project is starting to get pretty stratified. Let's do one more thing. It might be useful to isolate the low end here, seeing as it's a drone that would probably be best served if it remained in mono, which of course assumes that we want to derive a stereo outcome here. Here I'm using the frequency selection tool to capture everything below about 200 hertz. And here I'm cutting this content to a new layer. And here it is. Okay, we've divided the soundtrack audio up into six layers. Clicking out of the separate window view brings us back to the Nuendo interface. And here I'm dragging all the new layers into the Nuendo project window. Let's review. Here we have the shrill and harmonic layer. The dialogue layer. My compliments, Captain. You're the first man to set foot on this planet. We're outcasts on a lost planet in space, but at last we have something firm under our feet. The low end. The music layer. The effects layer. And the synth sound. With all the channel faders set to 0 dB, we get sample accurate playback with no artifacts. My compliments, Captain. You're the first man to set foot on this planet. We're outcasts on a lost planet in space, but at last we have something firm under our feet. From here, we can start making post-production moves in Nuendo, which of course is a topic for another tutorial. Remixing, rearranging, signal and effects processing, working in the stereo field, many things are possible when you have the power of spectral layers on hand in ARA mode in Cubase and Nuendo. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectral Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.